Hey there, everybody! Time for, uh, another game I remember. Uh, well, at least a little bit. Uh, <laughs> hang on, I started the video early and, uh, kind of screwed up my flow there. Not only that, um, you may hear, like, construction noises outside. Somebody's working on my roof. I think the gutters. I'm not 100% sure. I asked him what he was doing. And uh, he said something. I asked him to repeat it. He said something again. Couldn't understand him. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Didn't really matter to me, I guess. I guess the landlord sent him. Whatever. Anyway. Magician Lord. So, there was a show on Nickelodeon when I was growing up called uh, Nick Arcade. And every now and then, the, the kids that were participating would go to the arcade, air quotes, and they'd be given a, a selection of different games to play on different consoles, like TG-16, Neo Geo, and other things. And, um, you know, Magician Lord was oftentimes one of the games I was on there. And I've only played this once, I think. Now we're going to play it proper. As soon as I... I forgot to... There we go. So it makes it more like a uh, traditional setup for uh, a Neo Geo controller. It doesn't match with the colors, but... no oh shit. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, we know it's it's AS, uh, ASP anyway, so. I get confused because once I change the controls, the B, the B button is the confirm button in game, but once I go to that menu, it's, uh, it's still the, the cancel button. Memory card continue. Yeah. Anyway, shot and jump. Well, we got four directional firing, anyway. We weren't at, uh... Oh. The Dale of Evil Gods. So, I look at a game like this, and... While I always wanted to play it, like, looking at it now, I'm not, like, wowed by it like I was, like, uh... Uh, Art of Fighting. Or something like that. This is... And as far as megabits go, this is one of the lowest ones that was on the uh, Neo Geo. The so Art of Fighting was like... 100 something, I think? The game I'll be playing next is pretty low too, but... It's a shmup, so, you know. Like this... Almost feels like it's a game that could be played on uh, the Genesis. I mean, it, it can't, it's just too many megabits. Well, that, that's not true. There's been some huge fucking, uh... Cool, I got a little flamethrower breath. There's been some huge-ass cards for, uh... Um... Genesis, but still. This is probably a, a little bit beyond its scope. Though that said, I'm not sure where all, where all the, the Mega Bits go for this game. But don't get me wrong. I'm shit talking it, but uh, it, it it plays perfectly fine. It in fact it feels good to play. A very basic uh, arcade platformer. I can't ask too much more. Besides, you guys know me. I'm not like the hugest on graphics anyway. It's just like it's just something you compare it to everything else on the Neo Geo. It, it doesn't really stand out. It really feels like it's something from a from a, a lesser quote unquote console. You know what I mean? So we go from Magician Man to Dragon Man to uh, Ninja Man. I do like this though. I also can't remember if I if I actually have played this. Ow. Fuck! <laughs> Go through the hole. Oh, okay. No, okay. <laughs> Man! 
Man, this guy. I'll tell you what. Hey! Oh, I'm beamed up. Oh shit. What imprudent you human being. Face your trial by God. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. There's a little thing. Hey buddy, how you doing now? That was delayed. Again, changes to hell. What? Well, this time let's start over from the beginning. Ow. Hmm. Oh god! Now how would I dodge that? <laughs> Can I actually dodge underneath the middle projectile? Or duck? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Okay. Do not have to jump. Okay. Oh, I, I um, got me. Yeah, fuck you. I have this book. <laughs> to the evil mind. <laughs> what makes the mind evil? Well, other than these fucking things. Okay, this. Never mind. I take it back. This is evil. <laughs> Ow, I bumped my head. Boy, that thunderstorm's coming. Hope those dudes on the roof are like done soon. Both of them getting fucking zapped or some shit. I haven't heard them in a little bit. Maybe they are gone. Although they went on the roof just to do something that quick. Huh. Shows what I know about roof stuff. Fucking love arcade games, man. It makes me so happy. I mean, I mean, though, I know this is Neo Geo, right? But I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I, I this had to have been, actually been in a. Whoops. This had to have been in a actual arcade at some point, right? Is that the story of pretty much all Neo Geo games? Can I make it if I just go? Oh. Damn it. Yeah, the other buttons, uh, they, they do nothing. Yeah, these, these controls would be really awkward if I was doing it the way they laid it out on the on this uh, stick. I feel really, really weird. Okay, some of these spots are just fucking cheap. Classic arcade. <laughs> Bro! Whoa, homie! Ah, horse shit. See, they didn't stay on, like, the plane that they were on. They, like, went up as I went up. What a fucked up pattern. Okay. I'm playing the American uh, MBS version, yo. I can use uh, all the credits I want. Ooh, it's coming down good out there. I hope they're done. <laughs> oh, th this is horse shit. <laughs> dude, dude, come on. <laughs> Man, arcade games are bullshit. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> so why don't we just get more hit points? And why am I not getting any more power? Man, it's coming down super good. Oh, now I get fucking... You know, if you listen to it, it even kind of sounds like a Sega soundtrack, too. Or as in, like, a... a a soundtrack you would you would hear on a Genesis game. What's in here? Oh shit! Uh. Now how am I supposed to see those? This is bullshit. I can't believe I didn't hit anything on the way down. Go me. Oh, listen here, fuck boy. What are my points doing than this? Look <laughs> kind of the way this ninja walks. He's like, he's like a fucking gorilla or ape or something like that. Long ass arm. Holy shit. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, I hope there's no fall damage. It's gonna be a bumpy landing. Whee! <laughs> well, I know what that does now. No, you son of a bitch! Really? Damn it! I swear I didn't do this on purpose. Well, at least not the, this, this most recent bit. Fuck me. Okay. Let's get our gorilla ninja ass out of here. That was the boss. Alright. I'm destined to die. Uh, what? I just destined to die, everybody. Oh, God. Oi, oi. Now, how do I dodge that? Fucking rude. Ass. This is some cheap ass shit. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more, one more. Well, let's see if we can beat the level at least. Ow. Well, it keeps your progress. That's good. <laughs> How are we leading to a foreign space? Okay, uh, uh, until we get, we game over again, then. I figured we were just gonna die again at that dude. Ah, right, you! It's not gonna take long for me to die. It did say foreign space. Oh god. I, th this is where everything would go to shit, because I'd have to redo this section every time again. Uh, except I guess things stay dead. Well, at least it's not, like, that horrific, I guess? Again, j fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Wow, that was cheap! Okay, changes to hell. Womp womp. Oh, well. 
<laughs> that was Magician Lord. How long did I play that for? Like, it's it's perfectly fine. Right? It's just, uh... Oh, that's right. You can save. Sure. Oh, shit. I already changed the input. Now I'm on a delay watching this. That's all the time I get. Sah. That's me. Sah. <laughs> Wait, no, that was 15 minutes, not 19. Yeah. Whoops. Well, oh well. It's fine. <laughs> you guys have seen Magician Lord. I'm bad at it. It's one of the earliest... Was this the pack-in title for Neo Geo? Did Neo Geo come with any titles? <laughs> you know what? Why you guys watch this demo thing? I'm going to look. I'm curious. Let's see. Check out my phone. Neo Geo launch title. Okay. Does it have a thing for launch title? Oh yeah, this game came, uh, this system came out at six hundred forty nine dollars, and that was uh, in uh, nineteen ninety one money. Mm. It used to be in Japan that uh, you you could buy it in nineteen ninety one in Japan, July first. In fact, it was uh, that's interesting. It released at the same time uh, for home consoles in uh, July first, nineteen ninety one, for both Japan and North America. Interesting. But before that, in Japan, for a year, this was a rental-only system. I had forgotten about that. Oh, man, look at the CPU. A Motorola 68000, 12 megahertz, y'all. With a secondary 4 megahertz processor. Ooh. 64 kilobytes RAM, a 4 kilobytes via RAM, and 2 kilobytes sound memory. Oh, man, we're cooking. 320 by, 20, by 224 resolution. <laughs> and a whopping 4,096 uh, on-screen colors at a time. Which actually, for the time, was you know, pretty decent, considering the Sega can only do 256, I think. Or was it like 64 and like... I forget. Whatever. Uh, feel free to leave now if you want, because I'm just looking at the uh, stuff. Uh, history. How about the history? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, well, when it was first showed off in 1990, uh, it was at a Japan's amusement machine operators union show in February 1990. It showed off games like uh, Nam 1975, Magician Lord, Baseball Stars Professional, Top Players Golf, and Writing Hero. What is it with Japan and, uh, and uh, horse derby games? <laughs> horse racing games, whatever. So, okay, so they initially put it in like uh, hotel chains and shit. And bars and restaurants. <laughs> some, when they figured out that some people were actually weird enough to actually spend six hundred fifty dollars on a console, they were like, "Okay, maybe we'll just make it for more uh, wide use." In the United States, the, the console's debut price was planned to be uh, U.S. five hundred ninety-nine dollars, and include two joystick controllers, which is actually pretty cool. Come with two of the, the arcade sticks, and. Uh, either Baseball Stars Professional or Nom 75. Now the price is raised. It debuted as a gold system. So 649.99 is equivalent to about 
2021. Okay, so... At least it came bundled with two games. It came bundled with Magician Lord and Fatal Fury. The Silver System package lost at $390, including one joystick controller and no packing game. Other games were launched at about $200 and up. <laughs> at double or quadruple the price of the competition, the console and its games were accessible only to a niche market. No shit. I wanted Neo Geo, but there was no way in hell it was happening. Even if I got the system, how often would I get a game for it? Like, never? <laughs> Maybe one a year if I saved my money? Or my parents saved their money? Because we weren't terribly rich. We got the Sega because it was a little cheaper at the time. Yeah. Oh, your butt's falling out. <laughs> well, anyway, that's cool. So, yes, this, this was a launch title. In fact, it was a pack-in title for the, the gold edition of this. Which is the big expensive one. You were definitely better off buying the, uh, the gold version over the silver version. For $250 more, you got two games, which, considering how expensive these are, that's a pretty good de uh, deal. And I guess it came with a second controller? So, eh. <laughs> I'd say you get your money's worth, but, um... I mean, you have to really love SNK arcade games. I'll put it that way. Anyway, enough of this nonsense. I've, I've filled up enough time after I'll put, only playing 15 minutes of this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.